Yes, you Go ahead. All right, so this is the JBL compound machine V1. There's more to come. Oh, and by the way, I am Lucio. That's Jack and Ben. We are the designers. Hence, JBL. And this is our cover page. You got, you know, the name, and then a little quality picture there. And our design brief. So our uh, target is anyone who needs to lift a kilo at least 12 inches off the ground. Because, you know, the problem is that it's like so inconvenient just to bend down and pick it up. <laughs> Might as well turn that. And then, yeah, so our uh, design statement, turning a wheel, well, turning that wheel right there creates this to move which pulls the string on the series of pulleys there, which can pull the kilo off the ground. And yeah, and then that's the criteria that we met. Uh, our decision matrix, we had a bunch of different combinations of uh, simple machines to use, like lever, single pulley, multiple pulleys, a wheel and axle, and uh, each one had its advantages and disadvantages, but we decided to go with the wheel and axle, multiple pulleys, and the um, chain and uh, sprocket. We also uh, experimented with the order of whether well, we obviously end up with uh, wheel and axle, chain sprocket, and multiple pulleys, but we uh, flipped those around and found that was the best way to go. Brainstorming. Right there, we couldn't decide on what we wanted, and yeah. So right up there, our wheel and axle. And then we've got our uh, pulley system, which had a uh, I'm up six, and then we have our uh, sprocket chain. Yeah. In our video. <laughs> yeah, so you see. It takes a little while, but it gets it up there. One time we had five kilos pumped into this thing. So. And yeah. And here are our calculations. So the ammo of the machine, so we basically found our effort the effort we had to put in, and then we uh, found uh, what we're pulling, which would be 10 newtons, and divided it, which gave us the 33.3. And then our wheel and axle, the IMA for that's 11, because of the, the yeah, circumferences and stuff. And then the pulley, we had six supporting strings. And then, uh, so we just basically multiply those together to get a total IMA of 66. And then we had one gear, so uh, we had to find the gear ratio of that, so that was 3.75 and then 2. And then our uh, efficiency was 50.5%. So, uh, who inspired you? Uh, we'd have to say Mr. Herman really helped us, with calculations especially. I was wondering about that. And we wanted to make him proud with our machine. My second question is, do you know how to spell pulley? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody up there? It was a very late night. Before. <laughs> <laughs> so do we know how to spell pulley now? Yes. How do we spell it pulley? E -Y. There we go. There we go. Good. I just wanted to make the English department proud too. They they're pretty inspiring too. There's some other questions over here. Nick, uh, you mentioned that you put five kilos on the machine. How did that work out for you? Oh, uh, it worked like a charm. Then, we can uh, do more if we wanted to. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Zach. Is there a reason for the color switch of pulleys from the picture and from the prototype of Oh yeah, there is some 
tampering happened, someone didn't want us to succeed, or more uh, cosmetic reasons. Someone stole their pool. Yeah. Did anything happen like after you looked in the five? <laughs> no, not really. It's our pulley system might have snapped. Could you explain the loud crash that we heard when the five kilos was applied to the machine? So, um, <laughs> we let go of the wheel thinking, because it like lowered itself, but the five kilos might have been a little too much for our machine. Okay, you want to show this thing? You want to oh, yeah. demonstrate this for like, I know we've all seen it like a hundred times. <laughs> Lower it. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what was your, what do you guys say your efficiency was? It was 50.5%. Well, we did that of the original before the tampering. Yeah. Is, is there a reason it's so loud? Yeah, it's like. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah, like our designer Jack had stated. It's similar to a Lamborghini versus a Prius. Exactly. That was a good answer. Can we see a live demonstration of the five kilos? Yeah. Uh, not at this moment. <laughs> okay, good job. Oh my. I can't leave.